walk you through how to make our fresh tacos. Like, whenever me and Fidel got together, he was like, want a taco? And I imagined like the ground beef with lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese. Do you remember we had that issue? So you're like, you want a breakfast taco? And I was like, what is that? And he's like, literally anything inside of a tortilla folded in half. So it took us some. It took you. Time. Because <laughs> I already knew what it was. Anyways, this is a type of taco that's a super fresh taco and it is amazing. How would you describe it in five words? It's a fresh taco, babe. <laughs> you could have said it is a fresh taco. It's a fresh taco, babe. It is a fresh taco. And then, babe, be safe. Eventually. Uh. Let's go make it sharing three recipes with you today one being my pico de gallo the fresh tacos and amazing avocado dressing for the pico de gallo i do tomatoes cilantro onion lime and i de-seed and de-sim the serranos but whenever you do that make sure you wash your hands scrub them with salt do what you got to do to get that oils off because it is bad for the avocado dressing, you can use fresh avocados. I'm using frozen today just because I recently found out that fruits and vegetables are flash froze at their peak nutrients time. So if I can get the same nutrients without any preservatives at a cheaper price, I'm gonna go for it. For the dressing, we're gonna do avocado, cilantro, lime, onion, and garlic powder. For all of these recipes, you can use whatever amount of ingredients you want. It is all preference. And then from here, we're going to occasionally stop it to check the consistency. If you like it a little thinner, you need to add water. You can stop and add however much water you need until it gets the consistency you want. Because you're eyeballing the seasoning and water, you need to do a taste test. If the water has watered down the flavor, you need to add more seasonings and maybe more lime. I took out a small portion before adding in the rest of the serranos. If this is just for yourself, you can do the serranos at the same time as the rest of the ingredients. To warm up the tortillas, I'm using a griddle. You can use a pan if you don't have one. After you flip them and cook them thoroughly on both sides, it's best to keep them inside of a microfiber cloth to finish steaming them.